Well, hello there, everyone. I'm the Star Wars guy. We are back in the cantina of my favorite mobile game, Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. Hope you are doing well as... Oh, we got a full clone trooper. Look at that. First roll. Sometimes it does pay off. We got 25 shards of a character that doesn't really matter. Nice. Well. As I start this video, our Discord is blowing up. You guys are in there chatting away. I love it. If you're not in there, go ahead and hop in. The link's in the bottom of every video I do. We're cultivating a good little community there. All right, let's get some dailies done. Spy, let's hit it. Boom, boom. Feel like I'm ping-ponging across the screen here. Nice. All right. Mr. Sun Fox. First time I have not seen him in one of those stores. Oh, pretty much got everyone to level 67 last time, and I think I can get Sun Fox to level 67 as well. I can. Boom, easy. 53, not bad. Let's go ahead and jump Ahsoka up, and then it might be time to hit Tarkin with as much as we can give him. Which will easily be that 500. So we'll probably be out of cash. But, yep, there we go. We're almost out of cash. But that means that our uh, pro tip, by the way, before I finish that sentence, this arrow, I've showed you guys this before, brings you to the ships. I was playing the game for roughly five years before I realized that. So anyway, that brings our capital ship here, the Executrix, right on up. We want to get that thing as strong as we can. That's going to help every other ship below it. Okay. Now. Not bad. Doing a little upgrade in here. Before we go collect on those dailies, let's finish what we're doing. Soldier. Nope. Dooku. Yes. I want to start getting the other Geos. Come on. What are you doing? Drag. Let's go. There we go up equal with the two that are ahead. So Geo Soldier, uh, five star. Hoggle, of course, seven star now. So I want to get at least these two to five each, and then we're just going to keep rotating between them. Sunfock will probably be going in parallel. Geo Spy and Geo Soldier both use Cantina energy, as does Brute Alpha, but these others will be seven star way before we get to him. So uh, we'll, we'll get these two bouncing back and forth to get to seven star, and Sunfock will be uh, done in the background. He'll probably be done... I don't know. I'd, I'd say, depending on our luck, he, he's probably going to be done ahead of the other guys. We also have Ahsoka over here. So close. I can probably knock that out right now. Get a little bit of energy for her. And I'm not going to do that right now. I don't want to spend 100 on crystal energy. But later today, if I just do one more Cantina battle. How much do I have left, though? Eight! I can do it right now. Aha! And what I've been doing, sometimes uh, Soldier will pop up in the store, and I've been grabbing him. Because we need all those Geos. So now that I spent that, if I go back over to Ahsoka, it's probably over 400. And we can grab five of her. Very nice. Okay. What else do I have? Fleet and mod energy. Fleet energy, not much to write home about. I am just jumping in here. And doing the last battle now. I mistakenly said a couple episodes ago that this was double drops, and that's because uh, and when you see that gold, usually it means uh, double drops. But I forgot they're doing this event, so right now on all fleet nodes, you have a chance of rolling some Rebel Y-Wing shards. So that's the event that's going on right now. They also did this uh, as the way to unlock Palpatine's uh, shuttle, I think is what it's called, Emperor's shuttle. Where is it? Now I believe it's it's just on a node or something. It's not a ship I regularly lose, use. Yeah, so 70 dark side. But when it first came out, it was the same way. You just spent fleet energy and they randomly gave you shards in the hopes that you will refresh your energy to get more shards for a ship that you want, right? Challenges also have been bumped up. If you see here, five and five here as well. So these have been bumped up to five where usually the resource challenges are three. This is also true for fleet challenges, I believe. It's kind of part of the stay and play initiative they're doing. So that's pretty cool. Fleet challenge, where are you? Four. Yeah, so they bumped up by two as well. 
Because normally you can only do two uh, fleet challenges. We don't have enough two-star ships, but as soon as we got, start getting some two-star ships, which we are working on, so now that Poggle is seven-star, we're going to be hitting... Uh, we can get Geospy probably right now and get him unlocked and ready, ready to go. Again, fleet tokens reserve those for those geos because three of them show up in the store at least that i've seen so far Let's see if we can quickly get in here beast out 400 of these tokens unlock geo spy before it refreshes all right qui-gon garbage character but deflected my lightning i have been seeing a ton of questions both in the discord and on him nice and just uh, on the comments in the videos about you know just just farming who should I farm what should I do that kind of stuff that's why I'm doing this let's play series for you guys so uh, at some point probably pretty soon I'm gonna put out a new farming guide that should answer all the questions that I keep getting and answer everything uh, whether you're going the separatist route or the Phoenix route and and I'll end with which one I recommend and why which if you've been watching the series you know I recommend the separatist route because the Phoenix route is going to stall you out in the middle. Middle of the game. All right. We got one down without even paying attention. Let's see if we can kill uh, Leia here. Too easy. I'm going to get Hux. Hux scares me because I don't know a lot about him. I thought that would get him for sure. There we go. All right, Poggle. Let's go ahead and knock out you. Phasma. AoE. That draws another counter from our boy Dooku, though. And what's probably going to happen is Magna's going to drop at some point. But that spot's going to be filled by Ahsoka. She's the next most powerful in line. Knock out Dooku while he's stunned so he can't counter. And finish with Poggle. And Ahsoka can heal us as we go through. I don't know if I said that. So, that is, um, that's helpful in Galactic War. Not that it really matters right now. Geos will breeze through Galactic War, like, with no problem. They will all finish full health, full protection. Oh, we dodged. Start dropping some dots here. So if you're not finishing Galactic War, I would not worry about it. I've never finished one, and you see how, how far along we are. I had someone comment um, that they are the same level as us in this account, and not near as far along. And uh, that just goes to show you that these strategies, these ideas that I'm throwing at you guys work. So we're trying to get, you know, as far as we can, as fast as we can, as free to play. Strategically making decisions on who to farm and what, how to farm them and all that good stuff. And uh, as someone who's been playing the game since it came out in 2015, I have a lot of that uh, knowledge to share of what's good, what to expect at the very end of the road. Because when you start, it's overwhelming. You see a character list of 183 characters, 185 now, I guess, with the Galactic Legends. And um, it can definitely be daunting. You don't know who's good, who's bad. For example, Mace Windu, you'd think he's really good. He's not good at all. No one, no one uses Mace Windu toward the end of the game. So I can save you a lot of headache by letting you know that now. And you're going to be much thankful later on when you don't have a Mace Windu sitting around doing nothing that you spent a bunch of resources on because you liked him. I speak from experience. That is exactly what I did the first time I played the game because he was the coolest character. And he's all right in the beginning, you know, like early, early on. It's like, you know, okay, that's a cool character. Same thing with Phoenix. You might, you know, see a lot of people recommend Phoenix. And, and you know, you, they get health and protection. They're decent early on in the game. So your first instinct is, oh, this is a great team. Until you realize that they completely fall apart later in the, later in the game. Everyone can beat Phoenix with 10 different teams. And no endgame player runs Phoenix at all. 
Now everyone has a Phoenix geared up to a certain point, a Phoenix squad, because you, they're required for Thrawn, and Rebels are required for Palpatine, so you can have them pull double duty there, so you can get Thrawn and Palpatine, both of which are good characters. Um, Thrawn probably a little more, uh, has a little more utility than Emperor Palpatine. Emperor, T Emperor Palpatine was really good as a Sith team, and um, not so much an Empire team, but there are some uses for him for sure. Now, we're not stopping until we unlock that Geo Spy, so we're going to keep rolling here. It's a weird squad. There we go. Extra attack helped me a lot. Let's get her out of there. Dot up old Vader. You know I love doing that. Heal. Dooku. To Consular. Get him low enough before Barris can heal. Let's kill Barris. And then we will motivate Mr. Vader there. Perfect timing. Look at that. And we'll just basic him to death. How about that? This should be giving us 200. If I did my... Uh, we're thinking right there. Let's see. No, it's this next one. Okay, I did my thinking wrong. There you go. All right, here we go. Last one. Five's looking tough. Ezra, I like to get you out of there first. You are a decent attacker. I'm going to definitely drop that on, Mr. Fives. Cody in the back, you look pretty weak. I'm going to see if I can get you before Ben taunts. Looking unlikely, though. Because that taunt is probably coming right here. Ooh, not yet. Oh, he didn't taunt. He ability blocked. Okay. Well, we can still do some damage to our boy. Cody back here. Let's go ahead and hit fives. Come on, Ahsoka. We need that heal right about now. There we go. Motivate should hopefully finish him off. Nope. Fives has a tremendous amount of defense even early in game. And he actually is a very good end game player. He belongs on the top meta team currently in the game. Which would be the General Anakin Skywalker team. The gas team. Okay, I'm still trying to figure out what that noise is. The little whir that happens, and I think I just figured out what it is. I think it's the noise that happens when you inflict a debuff on an enemy. It seems to pop up every time I do that. Yep, there it is. Come on, let me get one more heal in, Ahsoka, before this is all over. Nope. Ooh, Darth Vader says, no! Nice. All right. Okay. That should be 200 there. Boom. 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 Got him. Now, hopefully, we can level him up to a decent degree. Because he has beautiful synergy. We now have two thirds of the Geo Trio. The last one is Sun Fox Starfighter. Definitely spinning that. Get this as high as I possibly can, and then you're going in my front line. And we'll finish out with a fleet battle. What do you guys say? So you can see a little bit of that in action. Boom, boom. Nice. Mod energy. Oh, I wanted to point this out real quick. I've been going through and doing uh, the mod challenges just as high as I can. So I'm currently up to tier 2 on most of them. Tier 1 done on the higher ones. And then uh, tier 3 actually done on the health mods. Tier 3 on these is going to give you 5 dot mods. So that's the goal is to get tier 3 on all of them. So there you go. That's a pretty good mod right there. 5 dot purple. Any of these 5 dots, though, you can slice. And we've never talked about that before. So slicing is when you take them to the next color level. So think of that as almost like shards on your character. So actually, we're not going to do that fleet battle because we're not going to have time. 
but I will show you this real quick. So I did some on uh, Geo Soldier, I think, because he had garbage mods. These little red dots are telling you they are ready to be sliced. So if we click here on the speed arrow I got, that's not a speed arrow, okay. You click slice, and then you can farm these materials. Now we can't, because uh, that's the last stage of the mod battles. You have to complete those first. Uh, but we did care we did collect some as we went through the game, I guess. So once you have the materials, you see it's gonna go from tier D, which is the green, to tier C, which is the blue. And you can see right here, beautiful little layout. Uh kind of gray bluish. We'll call it gray. Green, blue, purple, gold. And then there's one more over here that they don't see, and that's what happens when you slice a gold mod. It becomes a six dot mod. Which uh looks gold all over. So here we go. Slice that. Now, you don't necessarily want to slice every mod, but I'm showing you this. And once you do, it starts uh, doing what they call rolls. So you see how this says 2, 2, 1, 1? One. 1 means it has not rolled an extra boost in health. 2 means it's rolled 1 extra boost in health, and you can get all the way up to 5. Now, what you're looking for is, hopefully, you have a mod with some speed on it. Right here. Now, this is a 4 dot mod. We can't slice it. But, uh, if it was, and we rolled it... We could get, you know, two rolls on that would be like eight speed or whatever it is. And you want to get it all the way up to, to get as high as you can. Now, it's completely by chance, and it's very rare that you roll high numbers of speed. But even some speed is better than none. So, with that, we're going a little over time here. I don't want to keep you all day. Thank you so much for watching. I'm the Star Wars Guy. Make sure to subscribe below and click the bell for more Star Wars content every single day. And I will see you guys in the next video.